Hi and welcome back. In the previous video, I talked about the MIDI note color settings in the settings tab on the appearance page right here. And in that video, we use the in key note color to show which notes are in the scale and key that we're using. And then the red is set to show notes that fall out of that color. So in the key of C, the white notes would appear as blue MIDI notes and red would be the color of the black keys on the piano or in the piano roll. Now, if you're using the chord track, you can also start to see colors of notes related to the chord. So with it set as shown here, chord colors will show up as green. And I did an example showing how you can use these red, green, and blue notes to work with composition of your chords. Now, one thing I glossed over in that video is this row right here, chord note out of key color. Now, if you're harmonizing a normal scale, this will never actually happen. But if you substitute chords that include notes that are not in the key or, and scale that you're using, then this note color can appear. And you might wonder, well, under what circumstances would that happen? Well, it happens exactly as I said it. If you put in chords that are not naturally harmonized into your scale, then that will happen. And it can be very useful to be able to see those notes to help in composing. So I'm going to change this color to yellow. And then I'm going to move on into an example of showing how that works. Now back over in this edit, I've created a simple part here where I've got a MIDI clip that goes for four bars and I put in the chord track this simple chord progression that goes one, five, four, one. And then Waveform will calculate based on the key what those chords are. C major, G major, F major, and C major. So you set the key signature here in the tempo track by clicking on the key as it's shown here. And then in the actions tab of the browser, you can actually set the key. It's set to C major, which is completely fine for this exercise. Now I'm gonna double click on the header of my empty MIDI clip to get to the MIDI editor. I'm going to enter some notes to build these exact chords. So the first chord is a C major. So I'm going to start with a C note. So I've got my length set to four beats. I'll select the pencil tool and then go right here and click to put in my note. And you can hear that one note. Now to build the triad, I can use a keyboard shortcut. I could drag the notes up that show up in this green color, or I could just simply click on my toolbar here that I've created with the macros. I can just click to create that triad. So that's the sound of a major chord. Now, if I wanted to make this chord minor, you take the second note of the chord and make it one half step or one semitone lower. And then it sounds like this. So you get the minor sound. You also note that that note turns red because it's not in the chord and it's not in the scale but I'm gonna put that back for now. And now the next chord in this progression is a five, which starts on a G. So I'm going to put in a G note. And again, I'll click on my triad button. There is a keyboard shortcut for this. Another way to do that would be to use the arrow tool here and then hold down command or control and drag until you see the green notes. Same result. I just like to have my toolbar set up here so that I can just click on those. So the next is F, so I'll just put in a note. If it's not on the F, you just drag it till you find the F. I'll make a triad. And then I'll just show you one other way to do this would be to select all three notes and hit duplicate. The notes wind up in the wrong positions, but you can just drag them until they're in the right position. Since all of these are major chords, you see the shape of them is the same. There's a bigger gap between the root note and the third than there is between the third and the fifth. 
of each of these chords because they're all major. So here's how this progression sounds. Very simple, one, five, four, one progression. Now a common technique when you have a four chord going into a one chord is to switch to minor on the four chord, even though it's not in the right key, before you go to the one, which creates a really strong and kind of pleasing transition. So let's just set that up first in the chord track. To do that, I'm going to shorten this up so that I play this part for only two bars. Right now I'll just change this to four. So I've got the four chord, the four chord, and then we'll add a one chord to this. So that's how you set up if you want to have your chord track change more than just every bar. This will sound exactly the same if I were to play that back. Now I'm going to change this one to minor. And the way you do that is in the controls panel, by expanding this, you can do this down here, or you can do it here in the Actions tab of the browser. So what you do is you come and click right on the chord, and then it gives you a bigger selection of options. Since this is an F major chord, I go down to F, and I'm going to just change it to minor, basically force it to be a minor chord at this point. Now down here in the actual chord, I'm going to split this. So now you can see the first half of the chord is still the four chord, but the second half is an F minor, which shows that this is in the right scale, but it's not a note from the chord. If I drag this down, you'll see it turns yellow. So here is the first time we see yellow. The note is in the chord, but it's not actually in the scale or key for this key signature. However, we can use this to do this kind of resolution, which you'll probably recognize this effect. So you get that kind of stepping down quality. If I change this, I'm going to make this note higher by right clicking. I'll move this C up an octave move up one octave, and you'll see that I get this very tight movement from note to note. This note goes down a half step. This note stays the same, this note stays the same, but then when I go back to the one, which is the kind of resolution of this, both of these move a half step, and that gives you kind of a very satisfying resolution of that progression. So listen to this again. To make this sound a little more dramatic, I'm going to put the arpeggiator on. And on the arpeggiator, let's select a eighth note, and we'll let them alternate. And let's just change this a little bit. We'll allow it to do um, two octaves and go a little faster. So we have a little disconnect right here. So I'm going to double this note by adding a higher octave as well. So I'll just drag this up. So we have two octaves of Cs. Let's try adding another note in here. All right, so I'm going to change a few things on the arpeggiator. We got it set to two octaves, eighth note triplets, and the alternating two, which repeats the notes at the top of the pattern. And without the arpeggiator,
Now, one thing to point out about this, because I forced this four chord to be an F minor, if I change the key of the song, I need to repeat this part of the process. So to show what I mean, I'm going to change the key of the song to D. So there's D. And then I'm going to move all of these notes so that this, this note here, the C, becomes a D. And you'll see that this is off now. This doesn't show up right because it's still set to F minor. So to correct that, you go back into your progression and you can change this back to a four chord. So now that I've changed it to four, this shows up as G major, but down here, the red note is out of the chord and out of the scale. So if you wanna see that yellow chord note, then we go to the second four chord and now we change that one to a G minor, which corrects that. And now it will play in G minor. So this is just one example of borrowing a chord from another scale. There's many other examples of this. This is the probably the most common example that I know of. So I hope this is helpful. I really wanted to find an example of using this kind of note color, because it doesn't come up that much, along with the chord track. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.